five, six, oh, two crucifix. Oh, what's up, you guys? Is Freddy Krueger coming after me? Heck no. What's up, you guys? Such a boss here, and today, um, I'll be taking a look at, um, Wes Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street 3, uh, Dream Warriors. Um, this will have spoilers, and, um, this movie, um, is on, not on HBO Max, all the other ones are on HBO Max. I rented this movie for $3, um, um, uh, Amazon Prime, so you, you can buy it on, on Amazon, rent it from there, so $2 rent for the movie. So guys, um, let's begin talking about Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 3. If you already are not following along with the um, Nightmare on Elm Street movies, um, you will probably have seen um, the Nightmare on Elm Street um, Part 2, which took place in Nancy's old house, um, where Nancy, um, Nancy's long gone and dead at this point, um, which is kind of strange. But um, so the movie ends up with him, uh, all the characters die, um, so in the movie, uh, all, all the characters die in the last movie, pretty much. Same in the first movie, but this new movie approach, um, has characters who, who survive, which is an awesome theme. Also, no vehicles at the end of the movie, but there's junkyard with automobiles. Yeah. <laughs> no Freddy kidnappings in this movie. Okay? Well, if you think about it, maybe a little bit. Okay. So without with that being said, um, the movie um, introduces us uh, to the hospital. Um, it's a mental hospital, um, if you will, um, where kids who are coming in um, for their past like dream experiences, like their past nightmares, um, they get all the help they can. Um, a bunch of these kids um, are like can't sleep and been, like trying to stab them. Like not, I don't know, that's what the movie's rated R. I can't really go to detail about graphic things on the channel. I'm trying to keep us kid friendly as possible. But, um, the kids are in there just because they did some things wrong in their life, like, um, they just, they're just there, um, to help, help them sleep and help them face their fears of Freddy Krueger, which is, which I honestly really like that aspect of the movie. Also, um, uh, before we begin, the movie actually opens up with the, uh, counting song in, um, uh, in Christine's room, uh, Christine's bedroom. She built, uh, Nancy's house out of popsicle sticks, um, and... Um, when Nancy won, so also Nancy's alive. I'll tell you that in a minute, how Nancy's alive in this movie, which is a really, um, good theme about the origin of Nancy. Um, I wish there's a bit more with her. I'll tell you that in a minute. So, um, Christine was sent to the hospital with her, on her mom's center there just to get all the help she needs. Um, the doctors are really nice there, except that one mean nurse, um, which she's just an awful person. Um, so guys, I'm talking to you guys about Nancy's, um, and Nancy's, uh, uh, origin pretty much. So after Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Nancy um, survived and lived with her dad because her mom died in her sleep, um, which is really cool. It was just kind of cool to see like how her character uh, story arc can build up from there. I like how that she's alive. Her, uh, her dad's still the alcoholic that he typically is and portrayed in the in the movie, um, in the first movie. So there's that with the dad. Um, nothing too big for the dad. All you see him is drinking and smoking at the bar because this is 1987, by the way. Um, it just, it, it just a very broad movie, and I just really like that. And one thing, um, you gotta know that all the kids who are in the hospital are, um, they're Elm Street survivors. They're Elm Street survivors, like the Dream Warriors, the Elm Street, um, uh, Elm Street alumni, which is so cool. Um, so pretty much, uh, Nancy is working there as a co-worker, um, she has a little, uh, a, to, some hidden culture, I can't pronounce the name, um, has a statue to help her dream, almost like a dream catcher in a way, um, the god of dreaming, I have sweet dreams, um, so Nancy um, pretty much introduces the kids to the fact of Freddy Krueger, um, I'll get to that in a minute, um, so guys, let's talk about the first death really fast, the first death was really graphic, because all the kids are going to bed, and, um, it was really disturbing in a way, I, I really enjoyed how they did this, this is probably my favorite death, um, that Freddy, um, actually did in the whole movie. Uh, Freddy literally turns into a, um, turns into a puppet. It makes, he turn, it turns into a puppet because the guy's holding, like, uh, voodoo dolls. And he almost turns into a puppet, like a marionette puppet, you know, with, like, the strings and his claws are, like, coming after you, like, this. Like that. And I thought it was breathtaking to see how Freddy did that. He literally got the blood of the strings crunching to his bones, like, Impaling in his bones. It was disgusting. Blood splatter everywhere. It was so cool. And he's like, um, 
everyone thought it was like a suicide attempt. No, it's not. It's actually Freddie murdered him. Um, that's what that's what that's what one of the girl, that's what Christine said. And all of it was like suicide. No, it's not. It's an actual death and an actual murder of Freddy Krueger. Which I'm sorry for going really graphic on that because I know I'm trying to keep this PG-13 as um, possible. Because it's a marionette puppet. He like fell off the building. He dies and they bury him, which is just a really sad scene of the character. And then another death similar to that is um, a character who pretty much got a lot of um, got a, um, a message from Freddy carved into his stomach and, and to into a comma, which is really interesting. Really, it's a TV death, which I thought was really funny. It's one of the greatest um, Freddy quotes, in my opinion. Um, it was like, welcome to prime time, peep! Uh, one of the girls watching TV, it's a girl that wants to become an actress, and um, she's watching a uh, comedy show on TV, and Freddy pops out of there, like, a uh, latex, and his head pops up, it's like, welcome to prime time! And his claws became like a cyborg, and like, Psh. That over the prime time, and that was really funny. I died laughing I'm watching that scene. Oh man, it was really good. From there, the movie really progresses. Um, from all the kids, um, from the, from the small group talks about Nancy describing uh, Freddy Krueger, um, like well, he's the nightmare um, survivor, which is really interesting. Um, I just, I really like how all the kids are nightmare survivors. It's really cool. They're pretty much they're, they're teamed up, and all of them, all of them are teamed up. And one of the nurses want to keep them locked up so they don't sleepwalk or cause shenanigans in the middle of the night. Because the one guy is sleeping. Um, there's a guy on a wheelchair named Wheels. Oh, not Wheels. Yeah, is a wizard. He's a super supernatural powers in his dreams. Um, well, and uh, Christine is an acrobatic. Um, she does a lot of power ranger choreography moves. Um, there's a guy with super strength named uh, Kincaid. Uh, King Cod, uh, whatever his name is, uh, is, has his superpowers. It's just really cool. It honestly feels like It, if you've seen the movie It, um, that's what the movie pretty much feels like when the kids go in the dream uh, sequence, um, where they all try to stop uh, Freddy Krueger at the end of the movie, um, which is a very strong scene. I just love watching all the kids like team up. and It's almost like defeating Pennywise in a way, because the way, Penny, the way Pennywise dies um, is the dead lights. That's what Freddy Krueger looks like when he blows up, or is he alive? So Freddy um, literally um, blew up into the lights, and because the skeleton came to life, they put holy water on the skeleton, and they put um, they put the crucifix on him, and and no, no bother the kids again. Uh, which is, let's get to Freddy Krueger's origin story really fast. I know this is spoilers. Um, I've said that many times in this video, but Freddy's origin story was his mom was a nun, yeah, nun, and she had she had Freddy um, by accident. Um, because she was hidden, kept away from the other inmate, inmates in the prison system. And the prisoners had a little fun. I didn't want to get a little inappropriate. I'm so sorry. But Freddy was born. And then on, um, tried to protect the kid. So Freddy pretty much became a child murderer. <laughs> from, that point, from that point forward. And then he later on, he dies. Forgot to say that he dies on a fire. And he comes back to haunt kids' dreams. He's supernatural. And also... He uh, forgot to say the Miranda rights. He was right to remain silent. So, Freddy Krueger is the why he's on the loose. Curse you, Miranda rights. Um, so, I really like the um, lead scientist, um, Neil. I mean, I think his name is Neil. I like Neil. I think he's a really strong character in this movie. I really appreciated um, what he, uh, what, what, when he's holding like the figure of uh, Freddy Krueger's wife, um, m mother, I mean, Freddy's mother. Um, it was a nun in a, in a white gown. Um, uh, the nun, um, it's actually, uh, buried in the graveyard that they buried all the other kids, but when they buried Nancy. Well, Nancy's death was really sad, in my opinion, because I really want them to explore more of why she's alive. Hopefully Nightmare 4, um, they would kind of give her more of an origin story, which I really need, uh, for the character. Because I'm reviewing 4 in a little, um, I think tomorrow I'm reviewing 4. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Just a very strong Some movie. Some things I forgot to cover, um, about the whole movie. Um, things I really liked were, like, the, all the Freddy, um, instances, like, Freddy the TV is my favorite, Freddy the Puppet, I really enjoyed the stop motion, I love the lighting, I really enjoyed Freddy the Worm, which is cool, and was, like, the Sarlacc pit, which, like, almost felt like the Krampus, when the kids get their legs caught, it's almost like that, Freddy the Worm, they recolor they recolored it into a darker color, not, like, the flesh color of Freddy. Also, this movie was banned in Australia, in one state in Australia, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors was banned. In Thailand, they had a controversial poster, which got banned too. 
which is really interesting as some movie facts for the movie. All in all, this movie is a very strong movie. Um, I just like how all the kids can team up in, in their dreams, put, put them together in the uh, secret room to defeat Freddy Krueger, which I really like that. Uh, I like how Freddy, Freddy's death is really good explained. I like to see the child's inside of his uh, chest, which is amazing. I think they did an amazing job with Freddy. Um, this is the first time he said the B word, I think, in the movie, honestly. Uh, I just love the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. It's one of my favorite horror characters. Uh, you can't go wrong with Freddy Krueger. If you feel bored, you want to watch Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, do so. Uh, part 3 is my favorite so far in the franchise. It just, it just really good. It's probably one of my favorite horror movies of all time. There's so much to do with the characters. So much like to explore. So much like fun elements. So much fun deaths and gore and slashing moments. I just really enjoyed it. Um, it's rated R. It's only one edgy scene in um, the movie. Um, it's kid, uh, teens be teens, pretty much. Um, I really like how all the kids are awake. Uh, the same themes as the original, uh, the original franchise. The third part of the franchise is excellent. I highly recommend you guys watch Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Other than that, guys, I'm going to close out the video now. Hopefully you guys did learn a little bit about Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 and why I thought it was an amazing movie. Why I think it's really cool. So I'm hoping for my birthday I get the uh, Mezco Toys um, 1 and 12 uh, Freddy Krueger from my room because I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street literally is a very good movie. I highly recommend it, guys. Other than that, I'm out of here. So hopefully you guys do like and subscribe. Such a boss. More videos like this in the future. And like and subscribe. See ya. Bye.